My name's George Swan, play centre half, I'm 18 and I'm from Wakefield. From an early age I started when I was about six, just a local team, playing there, getting into a couple of development squads at Leeds United. Then luckily one night we got told up to say you don't need to come to the training tonight. You've been called up to go to the to Thor Park, which is Leeds United, Leeds United training ground. Went over there on a, to a test of day as such and they said yeah we'd like to join. So I think it was under nines, under tens I joined for Leeds. Stayed then until I was um, under 14. Didn't really see my future there, um, looked elsewhere and luckily City wanted to take me on. First minute I walked through the door, felt like a home the club, went on to tell my dad that's what I want to be at. And that was before anything, you know, anything got thrown at me, I just said that's where I want to be. And luckily they said yeah, they'd like to take me on. George is a very competitive, big, strong centre half. Uh, he can also play, he's a good footballer, got a good range of passing, but very competitive, loves to defend. George shows great leadership, um, big uh, personality for the under-18 group this season. Unfortunately, picked up an injury and we've missed him. But uh, George came from Leeds a number of years ago and has grown season by season. Uh, and I think he's really established himself as a, a real strong member of the group. I started out as a youngster as a centre-forward. I think most lads do, and the worse you are at that position, the further you get pushed back. So he's centre forward, end up in midfield, and I'm really stuck in defence. Luckily, I didn't end up getting stuck in net, but I ended up in defence. So, uh, but no, I did start out as a, as a striker. Favourite position? Um, again, I like to play up front every now and again in training, go up front and try and score a couple of goals, but I know where my home is, it's in defence, that's what I uh, need to focus on. <laughs> my dad's Peter Swan, he started his career out at Leeds, signed on there. He went on to play for Burnley, Bury, Port Vale, and I think he finished his career at York. So yeah, a quite a good career in the game. I look back at my dad's career and I think I'm going to try and do everything he did, not do the things he did and do the opposite. I've got to take his advice and try and sieve it out and find the good parts of it and try and keep away from the bad parts of it. But I've got to look at him as a role model because he's played 500 league games. So I've got to look and think, yeah, he's been there, done it. I've got to sit down and listen to him sometimes, even though I don't want to, after, maybe after a bad game or something. But I've got to sit down and listen to him and... Uh, respects his uh, views. Last season, about November time, I snapped my uh, lateral knee ligament. So I had to have that reconstructed, which was a five, six month period out. Um, to then get back fit, to go on to a team in Norway, strong squad set, to get back playing pre-season, doing fairly well. Um, and, and luckily I snapped my cruise ship four games in. And I've had that reconstructed. Uh, back on the men now for doing my rehab ready for next season. So when going through like an injury, I think it's a massive part of someone's career if you are injured for a long time or even a short time it can I think it can make or break a player sometimes sometimes if you've had a, a long-term injury you can either take it on as a challenge or think nah I can't deal with this and it makes it crumble but you have got to be so mentally tough especially because now I'm stuck with my second one but I've learned from last time and I've seen it thinking like look part of my game wasn't really like my body sometimes wasn't the strongest at certain parts of it so I've now taken it on looked at it and readdressed it and thought this is what I need to work on so the time I've got now I'm working with the psychologists and the people in the gym and trying to build on things so when I'm back playing I don't have to try and bother about them, I can just concentrate on my football, just go on my football. And at Bath Soft I've been a company. I think his demands the way he's playing, he's loud, he talks, communicates, gets the team going, <clears throat> tries to play out from the back, which I see myself as where I'll try and want to be in this want to be in this position. I've been around him, seems like a, how he is on the, off the field, he's on the field the same, commanding, got the respect of the players, so I think to be at a club like this and to have respect to the players is a massive thing. I see this year as a, uh, another year to focus on the other aspects of my game, like in the gym, the mental side of the game, to get back fit for next season and prepare myself ready for it, because next season is a very big season for me. We've been having two seasons being injured. So next year, hopefully, I progress up to the EDS, play, uh, get myself into that team, and then see where I can go from there. Keep mentally tough, keep mentally strong, keep working every day. Even if things aren't going your way, to keep working and working. Like I said, you've got to work for what you get in this game. If not, it's just going to eat you up and spit you out. <laughs>